Hi there, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about DNS within Microsoft Azure Cloud. As you all know about the DNS is very critical service. So when it comes to the managing DNS within Azure Cloud Vault, you can uh, fully utilize Microsoft Azure DNS or you can also use the third-party DNS appliances like Infobox or Blue Code or ThreatStop DNS specific one. All these are could be appliances or could be a virtual machines or the services that can be used as a third-party DNS uh, specific things. And within this uh, lecture or upcoming lecture, we're going to learn about Azure DNS where we're going to define this Azure DNS as the private DNS also the complete Azure DNS that's a global DNS uh, which is comes from the Microsoft uh, Azure Cloud whereas the private DNS you can actually create on your own and uh, manage all the required zone files and other things so if you have a question that can I install DNS on my own on any of the VM yes you could do that or uh, you can simply spin up a virtual machine and install the DNS service that works as your own private DNS. So it would be the similar to your on-premises DNS servers. And coming back to the pricing for the DNS as your DNS, uh, as you see here, if I just go back to this your DNS uh, for the pricing, uh, it would be per month basis. Uh, and uh, the first 25 hosted DNS zones, it's going to charge for uh, 50 cents uh, per June per month and post to that it's going to be 10 cents uh, per June and per month again and this is going to be almost similar for almost all the regions uh, close to the similar but not much uh, price differences if you look at for any of these your regions since it's a global service from the Microsoft Azure portal let's try to understand about four different real-time scenarios and where and what kind of DNS uh, servers or DNS zones or DNS configuration can be used so let's take the one the first scenario let's say you have few of the virtual machines uh, within the same uh, Azure cloud and they wanted to communicate with each other then the best recommended solution would be to use uh, your Azure provided DNS as you know that Azure also will provide the DNS where you do not have to create any of the A records or any any records that would automatically created by Microsoft you can simply use that or you can create your Azure private zone and maintain your virtual machines and their A records or maybe C names or service names all that into your private DNS zone but uh, start try to use from the Azure provided DNS and if that's really not gonna address any of the scenario then move to Azure DNS uh, for the private zones so that tells about a virtual network single virtual network what if, if you have more than uh, two different virtual networks and you want uh, different resources to be communicated with each other uh, from uh, vnet1 to vnet2 resources then uh, it's the best recommended method to go for use as your dns private zone or maybe a customer managed DNS service also can be used where he can uh, come up and spin up a own DNS server and th that would be fully managed by him so, or maybe her that kind of configuration can be done uh, that's the recommendation and now let's take the other real-time scenario let's say you have uh, within your Azure uh, cloud uh, few of the resources wants to communicate with your on-premises network maybe virtual machines or maybe some of the application servers then uh, go for customer managed DNS server because uh, we're talking about the on-premises that means they do have their own DNS they do have their own managed DNS server so it's better to go for customer managed DNS server and the final scenario uh, let's take the consideration where you want to communicate uh, from your on-premises computers to Azure Cloud in that situation 
this is quite opposite to the third scenario because in the third scenario we are actually trying to communicate from the cloud to on-premises but here from on-premises to the cloud in that situation uh, for this specific uh, scenario you can use the customer DNS service uh, simply forward the queries to the Azure for the name resolution so you may have to choose for the forward queries option to Azure name resolution so these are the most common uh, real-time scenarios that we will be applying based on this scenario and we would be utilizing our DNS services within Microsoft Azure Cloud. I hope this is really useful for you. In the upcoming lectures, we are going to talk about uh, complete Azure DNS for creating public and private DNS uh, along with the Jones and other configurations with the full of demos. Thank you. We'll catch you in the next lecture.